Ever pondered about the origins of the shoes we wear every day? Shoes, a seemingly simple yet indispensable part of our lives, carry a rich and fascinating history. From being a mere necessity to becoming a fashion statement, the journey of footwear is an incredible tale of evolution and innovation. Unbeknownst to many, the shoes we slip on each morning have traversed through centuries, molded by the hands of countless craftsmen. So, let's tread back in time to unravel the story of shoes. Our journey begins around 40,000 years ago. The dawn of footwear, much like the dawn of humanity itself, was a humble yet significant beginning. Cave paintings and archaeological finds provide the first evidence of shoes. Early humans in their ingenuity crafted wraparound leather for their feet, the first semblance of what we would call a shoe. These primitive shoes were more than a fashion statement, they were a necessity. They provided protection from the harsh elements and rough terrains our ancestors traversed. Imagine, if you will, the relief of a weary traveller, feet wrapped in soft leather instead of being exposed to the unforgiving ground. This simple invention was a testament to human adaptation and survival. The early humans' understanding of their environment and their ability to manipulate it to their advantage was a critical step in our evolution. These early shoes, crude as they may have been, marked the first steps in the evolution of footwear. As we move forward in time, we see the emergence of more recognizable forms of footwear. We find ourselves in the scorching sands of ancient Egypt where the first sandals were born. These were simple, made from palm leaves, papyrus and even rawhide. Yet their introduction signified more than just a practical solution to the searing heat. They symbolized status and power. In contrast, the ancient Greeks took a different approach. They introduced socks, knitted from matted animal hair, offering a cozy and warm option for footwear. This innovation wasn't just about comfort, it was a testament to their craftsmanship and a reflection of their love for intricate artistry. Now let's march into ancient Rome, where boots reigned supreme. From soldiers to senators, boots were a common sight. Their popularity was not just due to their durability or protection, but they were also a symbol of authority and strength. This era not only shaped footwear, but also reflected societal structures and norms. The Middle Ages and Renaissance brought a revolution in shoe fashion. The once simple footwear took an extravagant turn, becoming a canvas for artisans and a symbol of status for the elite. One such creation was the Poulain, a shoe with an overly elongated toe, often stuffed with moss or wool to retain its shape. This bizarre trend was a surefire way for nobles to flaunt their wealth and fashion forward thinking. Then there was the Chopin, a platform shoe of sorts which reached dizzying heights, sometimes up to 20 inches. These were mainly worn by women to protect their dresses from mud and street dirt, but they also served as a display of the wearer's social standing. The higher the platform, the higher the status. As we move from practicality to ostentation, the shoe ceased to be just a foot covering and became a fashion statement. These extravagant styles paved the way for the diverse range of shoes we see today. In the 19th and 20th centuries, shoes took a leap from being just protective wear to fashion statements. With the advent of industrialization, shoe production underwent a transformation, moving from the hands of skilled cobblers to mechanized factories. This shift allowed for an array of new styles and designs to take the stage. The sneaker, a casual footwear staple, was born out of the need for comfortable and durable shoes for sports and leisure activities. Equipped with rubber soles and canvas or leather uppers, they soon found their way into everyday fashion. High heels, initially designed for horse riders to secure their stance, morphed into a symbol of elegance and femininity. They have since evolved into myriad styles, from stilettos to wedges, each boasting its own unique appeal. Meanwhile, the rise of iconic shoe brands such as Nike, Adidas and Christian Louboutin, among others, further propelled the shoe industry into a multi-billion pound global enterprise. These brands not only provide us with functional footwear, but also contribute to shaping our identities and personal styles. From humble leather wraps to the diverse styles of today, shoes have walked a long path in human history. So, next time you slip into your favourite pair, remember, you're stepping into a story that's millennia old.